risk of viral illnesses like the flu and coronavirus. Wash your hands frequently with soap and water. Cover your nose and mouth when hopping with a tissue and dispose of it. Avoid close contact with anyone with a cold or flu-like symptom. If you become ill, please visit your doctor or the nearest health center and share your travel history. The flu and coronavirus can kill. Let's protect each other. Welcome back again. And even though the world might be upside down at this moment, I am hoping that you guys continue to stay safe and cautious. Yeah, and remain positive. Even though things might look gloomy. But after some time try hard enough to not let that consume us. And remember to give the necessary support to those that need it. So this video will be the third and final video that I'll be doing on character design for the animated short film that I'm working on. Smile. And you can always go to check out my last two videos to see how the first two main characters were drawn. Alright, so this is my first attempt of all three of these characters and all I'm going to approach it is that I am going to, to do a sketch for all three of them before moving on to any coloring or cleanup. So I want to find the look that I want before finalizing the characters. Alright, so this character is the antagonist of the film. He is the one that amplifies the negative state that that will be in. But what's contradicting is that something, even though he amplifies a negative state, somewhat something positive or a positive state emerges from it. But I'll leave you guys to find that out on your own. Alright, so after dealing with a criminal, we then move on to drawing a police. So he's a part of the BPD, Rowland Police Department, and he will be playing playing a major role in the scenes that you will be in. You won't see him a lot in the film, but the scenes that you see him in will be very important. So I wanted to give him this kind of sympathetic and friendly look but while at the same time being somewhat serious yeah i want all right so when people see him they should know that this is a good cop but he takes the law serious and i gave him the body frame well i gave him a big body frame i wanted him to be a fat police so that upon seeing him you guys will know that He's been in the business for a long time. Yeah. So looking at him, should be able to identify that he's not a rookie. So he's been a police for a long time. And he loves the job. So now, we move on to one of the most important characters. Well, it's not really a character. Well, it is a character, but it is not a person. So it's not really a person, but it is a character. And when this character is 
first introduced in the movie or in the film that is where things will take a major turn all right i wanted to get two views i wanted to get the regular front view and i also wanted to get a somewhat a dynamic view to show a sense of dimension and it took a while for me to achieve it i had to use the perspective tool i had to use the warp tool i had to use the liquify tool to bend and shape it to what i wanted and then after getting the view and then draw draw any necessary things that you know i needed to portray the message even more All right, so after getting the characters to look as well, I wanted them to, I then moved on to coloring and cleaning up. As I mentioned before in some of my previous videos, the style that I'm going for for the film will be a landing style. So I won't be using any outlines for the characters. All right, so with the colors that I chose for him, I wanted that to portray the message of him being a criminal, but not a sloppy or homeless criminal. At the same time, I want to go in and look at him, get some kind of disgust. Yeah, so I don't want him to be someone that's nice to look at, but at the same time, I want him to be appealing in a sense. Yeah. Yeah, and even after finishing the criminal, I still feel like maybe there's something that I will change on him. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna put some thought in it and see where it goes from there. But when I moved on to the police, he was, for me, he was the most time consuming character to color because I had to explore how I wanted his uniform to look and the, the color scheme that I wanted to use for him. And something that I discovered or something that well something that I found out or something that I realized that I had to do was to make sure that the colors that I put the police in and the criminal in they had to somewhat complement each other because there is going to be a scene where both characters are in the same are at the same location. So I realized that I had to make sure that seeing them together wouldn't be distracting or based on the colors that they're in, it wouldn't be distracting. So I had to make sure that both colors complemented each other to ensure that when I see both characters together, it would be appealing to watch. Yeah, and that was, for me, it was a fun discovery. Yeah, because then now you realize that there are many things that you have to be aware of before well some small it might look like some small things but in the long run they are very important yeah all right so i went for a, a sky blue color for his uniform so sky blue and navy blue and gold yes yeah, so and navy blue for his pants and his police hat and sky blue for his shirt all right so the world that that the, the film will be taking place is a small town called Brownland. The police now, so the police is a part of the BAPD, so the Brownland Police Department. When I really look at it, this is something that I really enjoy because then you have to, it's like you're creating a world, an entire world for yourself. And you have all the control in regards to how this world will be. You can bend the rules. You have the freedom, the creative freedom, to let this world be anything you want it to be. So you can create this world based on a feeling or experience that you want. Or it could be just based from your imagination, something that you thought about. Yeah, creating a film, or not even just creating a film, but creating on our own. Painting, drawing, 
any type of creativity i think i think it's a powerful thing because of the way that we associate our feelings our experiences with what we create so whatever we create is i don't really consider it as just a piece of art but a piece of you yeah Alright now so after finishing the criminal and finishing the police I then move to one of the most important characters and interesting characters for the whole film. Yeah so this is a mask or this is the mask and It plays one of the most important roles in the film and it kind of turns the film upside down. Yes, and alright, so for the color scheme, I want it to be red as you can see. But why red? Because I want it to, or it is going to stand out amongst everything else in the film everything else and it's going to be the only character that i'll be using outlines on to give it a kind of, kind of sketchy look so i will be using outlines only for the mask and if you look closely you realize that kind of looks creepy but it is <laughs> it is so i'm looking forward to seeing how this turns out in the film all right so after adding some textures and some details this is how the mask turned out yeah and this is how the criminal turned out And this is the police. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. And in the next video, I know that we have the characters out of the way. We can move on to building backgrounds and starting the animation. Yeah. So until next time, hope that you guys continue to stay safe and cautious. <laughs>